It's Bob and Tom Tonight, starring Chick McGee, Christy Lee, Josh Arnold, Ace Cosby, Pat Godwin, Willie Griswold, and Tom Griswold. So last night, yes. I wasn't feeling great, but um, I, uh, I, I came out to the kitchen and the girls were finishing up taco night. Uh huh. Oh, yummy. And I was just not on the. I just couldn't do a taco. I oh wasn't really? Feel, wasn't not feeling in it? great, so yeah. I um, uh, got some cereal. I got my, uh, oh yeah, because even now as an adult, you follow the rule. If you don't eat what everybody else is eating, you have to have cereal. I was just in the mood for a nice bowl of cereal. <laughs> okay. Did you have fun cereal, or you, do you have one of your weird uh, wheat? It was sh shredded wheat. It sounded uh, to me like you wanted to visit Tommyville, right? When you were a little boy. So I, you've been in the situation. There's just enough milk to kind of get about cover about half the cereal. Sure. Put the milk on it, and then all of a sudden Kelly goes, uh, "You've got to help us with this math problem." And they were doing, Finn had this math problem that was impossible. Yeah. <laughs> and so I go over there, and I'm not kidding. We spent half an hour. How, how old is she? Third grade. Third grade. This thing, it was a chart, and it was all, the instructions were terrible, and you could only use each number once. <laughs> <laughs> the instructions <laughs> were <laughs> terrible. I had, to, I, I had to sharpen the pencil like six times. Was it Sudoku? It was, I guess it must have been, it was this really important, but the point, the, here's the point. <laughs> Kelly goes, so don't bring your cereal over here. I don't want to hear you chom chomping in my ear. <laughs> so by the time, <laughs> so by the time, by the time I finished this thing, <laughs> and uh, did I mention that there was no more milk left? <laughs> it's soggy cereal. So the reason I bring this up is I just sent Mike Mark out for bagels because I did, for dinner last night I had like half a bite of cereal. You know, <laughs> you know Tom. I hate to bring this up because you're, you might stop doing it, but but then I think, no, you won't. Uh, when you tell these stories, you accidentally reveal little nuggets. That we, all, <laughs> we all just uh, cradle like uh, like pride. I don't want you chewing in my ear. Don't well, chew in my ear. Oh, that's beautiful. Then, <laughs> I can't imagine. I don't know how don't. she actually gets up in the morning with you with you there. I'm never going to have to breathe. It's so, enough. Four hours. Well, she's not there. He's not there when she gets up in the morning. Oh, that's, that's good. what helps. That's a good thought. Yeah. yeah. Her, her day starts to end. The car the <laughs> Eastern. So I, don't you hate it? I'm see, should you even answer the, once you put the milk in this, there should be a thing on your phone that goes, uh, sorry, Tom just put milk in his cereal, call back in five minutes. All you have to do is say, I'll be there in a minute, let me finish my cereal. Yes, of course. That's what a grown-up would do. He's a man beaten down. God. When uh, Pat gets his back surgery, why don't you go with him and get a backbone installed? <laughs> <laughs> you tell her. That's how. <laughs> you tell her there's a roof over your head. Yeah. <laughs> and I like how it's I'm not even, even going to mention the whole raspberry fiasco. <laughs> <laughs> Now we okay. want to hear it. What happened with the raspberries? the raspberry thing? Were you going to put raspberries on your... Oh, I had raspberries on them. <laughs> oh. I was able to eat those when... In the soggy mush that was left, <laughs> I, I picked off the raspberries. See, and this isn't even like just, a regular. It's not even like a, chewing. It's not even a regular manly thing. Like, let me finish my steak and potatoes. Right. It's, let me finish my shredded wheat and raspberries. <laughs> but I just wasn't in the mood for a taco. I know right, it's Taco yeah. Tuesday, but I wasn't who's, feeling well. Who's not in a mood for taco? I know, always. but it was. I just sounded to me like you weren't in the mood for a family. <laughs> <laughs> I think you you may have nailed it. <laughs> <laughs> this this math thing, you know, I did very well in math. My right. father was even a math teacher. I, I, I know you love being busy. I, I could not figure and this math thing out. Everything's they've made around. it impossible. And that oh, that uh, finally when I did get it, it was because the instructions were terrible. But that's another story. Have you thought about being busy and uh, with your family on a part time basis? Have you have you thought about that? Like on Separate the weekends, homes. Oh, yeah. <laughs> make your hours. You go over. Separate homes. You your own. You're your own boss. Everyone in your life. Life, you can treat like you treat Studies us. Studies show that separate homes or even separate bedrooms for spouses are the happiest married people on the planet. I, I disagree. can't disagree. <laughs> I was going to say. Uh, go ahead. Uh, <laughs> it's the beginning of the end, my friend. Yeah, that's what I said. No, 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 no. You have to start with that. It's not people who go, I'm so tired of you. We're getting separate can rooms. Can I uh. talk to you off the air? <laughs> <laughs> yes, I'd, I'd love to hear your relationship advice. Uh. <laughs> Okay. I'll All tell right. you. I'll tell you. Then, Go yes. ahead, rubber chicken inventor. <laughs> so anyway, next time I'm not putting the milk in the cereal till I've cleared. You got to clear five it minutes. With her. All right, everybody. Everybody okay? I'm going to put the milk on because this is the last half cup of milk we've got. <laughs> Good lord, that's already annoying, isn't it? Yeah, you want to drown that baby.
shred <laughs> wheat. You want to uh, know what's annoying? When I was a kid, I would just come into here with my homework in the morning, and then I'd make Mark Mike try to figure out how to do sixth grade math <laughs> ten minutes before I have to go into school. Ooh. Well, <laughs> that was annoying, you. was it? Uh, oh, it was just me as a little kid going, hey, Dino, you got to teach me how to do long division. <laughs> oh, annoying for everybody else. You, yeah, yeah, that's what oh, I'm yeah, saying. Oh, well, yeah, half the guys in here spent their time tutoring <laughs> Sam Willie. And him running around going, hey, chick, how'd those Red Sox do life? It's <laughs> Red Skins, you little brat. <laughs> Uh oh. Who's that? Oh. Oh. Yeah. What? What? He is with his joke of the day. Hey, Chick, you might know this. Uh huh. Dogs love to drive. <laughs> they do. <laughs> What's your favorite kind of car to drive? I don't know. What's the favorite kind of a car for a dog to drive? Ace? A Land Rover. Uh. That was. <laughs> <laughs> Tom is laughing I've like I'm seeing seen Richard I, I can't get it. Get it? Get yeah, it. we get it. <laughs> is that the it for the introductions? The funniest guys, you really don't have to say. Get it? At the end. <laughs> uh, I got a little bit of an update on this uh, this assistant coach and his monkey. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I guess it's his his uh, his girlfriend's Girlfriend. monkey. Do you have anything? a mon monkey belonging to the girlfriend of Texas Longhorn special teams football coach Jeff Banks bit a child on Halloween? Oh no! According to SI, the information first came. It was a magazine. You guys remember magazines? Oh sure. Yeah. yeah. Uh, first came to light. Houston-based photographer Tom Campbell said he had heard it from a reliable source. Banks' girlfriend, Danielle Thomas, soon confirmed elements of the story. Thomas explained that she had set up a haunted house in her yard, and one of the <laughs> trick-or-treaters wandered into a gated-off area where her white-faced capuchin monkey, Gia, mm -hmm. is housed. She added that an 11-and-a-half-year-old child should know better than to enter someone's yard without permission and be old enough to also follow the rules. Uh, blaming and the victim, all right. Stuck Thomas, her hand inside the cage. So this, this woman does own a monkey, and she is, in fact, an exotic dancer. Is that correct? <laughs> yeah, and she uses yes. the monkey as part of her act. Oh. That seems rather odd. It but, does. Uh, <laughs> um, the stripper oh, could later could you, could you shared a walkthrough. Hello, Bob and Tom show. Hey, fellas. Oh, boy. boy. I've enjoyed your pet monkey program. Oh, Isn't that weird? And I'll tell it like this, too. You know, I've been to my fair share of stripper clubs never once have seen a real-life living monkey <laughs> scurrying about. Yeah, it's weird, isn't it? That'd be something else. You know, I'll tell it like this, though. Animals don't belong in such a place. Yeah. <laughs> Even though sometimes it can be a zoo. <laughs> I know a driver goes by the CB handle the hot brown. Boy, he loves stripper clubs. Does he? Oh, oh he goes regular. <laughs> well, well, tell you, he was at a stripper club called Thongs and Dongs, and that fool <laughs> spent $28,000 in one sitting. $28,000? You think about that, $28,000. Thousand dollars, like Big D says, that's a hefty price to pay for a pair of blue balls. Uh, yeah, <laughs> that's a lot of money. Hell, for that much, you could probably pay for your own mail order bride or <laughs> a whole stable of healthy whores. <laughs> <laughs> Hell, for that much, he could have paid for that stupid pole assassin's bucket and have it do some bartending on the side. Yeah. And buy another monkey to check IDs at the door. <laughs> yes. Well, you laugh, but they handle business cards and other laminated goods way better than we do. <laughs> Monkeys? Well, of course, Tom, they've got disposable thumbs, you know. Ah, oh, right, right. On top of that, they've got the same horsepower as a grizzly bear when they put their minds to it. They claim a monkey can do more damage than a great white. <laughs> but could you imagine some monkey a bar tended in a bar? You just want another beer, just say, Rat turn, Clyde. <laughs> get it? Yes, I get it, yeah. Yes. yeah. <laughs> Every which way but lose. Right. Boy, I'll tell it like this. If these damn fuel prices get any higher, there'll be Snoop Doggy Dog. <laughs> Good night. <laughs> Good night. <laughs> Snoop Dogg is often high. Oh, they'll be higher than Snoop Oh, Snoop I see. Dogg. Yes, okay. Yeah. 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 Hello. Jessica Alsman joins us. Hi. There she is. There's Ace Cosby at the track phone hotline. I'm Chick <laughs> McGee at the DoorDash sports desk. There's Willie Griswold. There's Tom Griswold. And Tom, we have a special guest. 
It's Allie Breen. Is, is Allie Breen in the Bahamas? Where What's are you, on? Allie? No, I'm in Florida, and I think someone just started weed whacking behind me, so I don't know how loud this is going to be. Oh, you got some beautiful plants behind you? Yeah, it's so, lovely there. Yeah. Um, I'm down at my aunt's, yeah. I'm, oh, and you a, say aunt. I actually... My aunt. Aunt. Yeah. Yeah, I think that's a Boston thing. Do you guys say aunt? Yeah. Oh, yes. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's a... My mom okay. says there's what I say. Is that what you say? Yeah. yeah. Mama sister. <laughs> now, what's happening out there? We have letters. What do they say? Dear Allie, I have been dating a guy who I really like, but he smells like aged cheese when I go downtown. Oh, yeah. no. <laughs> Not just cheese. Aged. 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 Jeez. Goes <laughs> down. I like everything about this person. It you literally like, makes me gag. Oh. The, the guy who smells like aged cheese you oh. like? No, the writer. The, the writer. The, uh, okay. <laughs> you like the descriptive uh, use oh, of I, words? I like the downtown. Oh, I like the aged man. cheese. This is rough. This, this is, is rough. hey, uh, you want to take a shower? Well, no, this there's got to be Well, here we it. go. It continues. Oh. I tried using flavored lube, but it doesn't cover it up. And then I flat out started telling him to take a shower before we hook up. But that also doesn't make it better. Oh, so no. Do I actually have to... Do I actually have to tell him to specifically scrub that body part? I think he takes a shower and like washes his hair and just lets the water trickle down and it doesn't do anything. Some people, that's what that's they what I'm getting Are you they, kidding? They don't spend a lot of time on their legs. They don't. Oh, uh, my goodness. Yeah, that's, uh, oh, no. They use the I mean, could trickle be, down. Could, the, could this be some kind oh. of. Uh, of an issue, oh, like yeah, medical. Health. It could be a yeast. Uh, can guys get yeast? Sure. Uh, I would think. Then it could be that. I wonder Boy. if he's hairy. Uh, moldy hair. Yeah, I was yeah. going to say a lot of hair down there. I wonder if there's a lot of hair down there. Or there could be He has cheesy. a mildew situation going on. Yeah, there's oh. a cheesy substance. Oh. Sick. You know, I know a lot of women think that they can fix a lot of guys, but I don't know if this is the guy you want to fix. No. You know what I'm talking about? Nah. He might just it's let just this gonna, one go. Yeah, something else is going to start oh, stinking. Yeah. You know, oh, Limburger nuts. <laughs> oh, but she really likes him. Just start calling him blue cheese. <laughs> yeah, she's, you want to save no, him for the next girl? No, anything but blue cheese. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Sign no blue yeah. cheese. Yeah. yeah. That's rough. Maybe she know. does just have to tell him to specifically scrub that butt. Maybe he's just not. She, yeah, I think just have to be honest. Right. If say. she really does want to stay with him and do that, she Maybe she should hey. climb in the shower and give the guy the Silkwood shower from the navel down. Yeah, I say, honey, I love you, but Boy. if we want to continue this. Yeah. Yeah, We're so going to have to clean this bad. up. Yeah. Soap up her hands and uh, yeah. Yeah. she shouldn't have to do it. Wash no, him. no, no, no. Yeah. Say you're worried about him. Like, I, you need to go to the doctor. I feel like something's wrong. It smells so bad. Man. Yeah. And then he's yeah. like, oh, I'll just actually try to wash it for once. I might something. puke. Oh, she, she, should get, she should get really... Uh, she should I just think. puke on him, right? Oh, Jesus. Well, he might, he might think that was from a different oh. thing. Uh, I was just going to say, he'd like that. He'd think uh, that was happening for another reason. If you puke on him, I bet that'll make him scrub down there. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Well, that's, that's true. Yeah, that's it shouldn't okay. have to come to that. <laughs> <laughs> and neither will she. Okay, let's, uh, let's move on. <laughs> Dear Allie, my husband just got promoted at work, and he says a big part of that is that his boss likes me. I met him two years ago at a work event and we were very flirty. Since then we had started texting and then actually in the last year have been hooking up. <laughs> and I don't feel bad about it because it's benefiting my husband. Oh, this is awful. <laughs> Welcome to the now, wide and wonderful world of prostitution. <laughs> this, 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 this is going to end in a murder. Oh, Doesn't this sound like the setup ever, to us? A... <clears throat> yeah, seriously. Now, however, I really think I want to stop, but I'm afraid that it'll affect my husband adversely at this point. Oh, what yeah. do Thank you. Yeah, yeah, you oh, so now she's trying to now she's trying to be generous about it. Well, no, this isn't no about bad. me. Oh man. Josh, you looked the whole time she's just been looking out for her husband. Yeah, how nice of her. <laughs> Boy, she's ruined one, two, three, three lives. Uh, well, unless the guy's married, then there'd be yeah, four. Well, there'd be four. Look. Do these men a favor and disappear. Yeah. Yeah. Change your name, leave town. <laughs> Oh, boy, oh boy, boy. And then just ruin some other lives when you start yeah. anew. So, yeah. Oh, you're, I, uh, that's a tough you're one. You're a piece Good of work. Lord. You could also try to stop showering and maybe he'll <laughs> stop wanting to hook up with you. Oh, yeah, there you Wait go. Wait a second, you're getting your letters confused. <laughs> oh. yeah. Dear Limburger Cheese. That's not a bad idea. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Or shower for your husband, but stop showering for the boss and right. let him be like, oh, I think I'm done with this. That yeah. was enough. 
Well, then he's yeah. going to fire the guy, remember? Uh, this is a... This Potentially. Is a yeah. Not if he backs exactly. out, Exactly. Well, then he'll feel bad. Maybe work, he'll promote ma'am. the husband yeah. again. You're a real winner. You and this boss deserve <laughs> each other. Yeah, you've, you've painted yourself into a corner. Okay, yeah. let's get to our next letter. Dear Once again, we're, winner. <laughs> we're, we're speaking with Allie Breen, A-L-L-I-B-R-E-E-N. I spell it out because you can find her on a variety of social media platforms with your love troubles. What have we got, Allie? Dear Ellie, what is the proper thing to do when you find little bits of toilet paper in your girlfriend's private parts? It's happened more than once, and I don't want to make her self-conscious, but it really grosses me out. Yeah, what is she, one of the red bears from the Charmin? It easily first, first I, I would start with by buying a higher quality product yeah. that, that doesn't right. disintegrate. Yeah, well, <laughs> hey, Madam One Ply, you want to do better? Good Lord. Splurge a little bit. What is going on down oh there. Seriously. Yeah, just quit. This could easily happen and chances are she can't, like, she might have a little bit of a stomach. Maybe she can't look down to make sure she's Is she clear. a fatty boom baddie? Uh, is she a fatty boom baddie? <laughs> Tell, her Tell her nicely. Tell her nicely. And Get her one of those Toto yeah. toilets. Those uh, uh, ones that shoot no. water up the there. Bidets? Unless yeah. she cut herself yes. shaving down there. She doesn't need little bits of toilet paper. And there. remind her to wipe front to back. <laughs> and and even again, if you cut I, again a, a higher quality this. issue yeah. of toilet paper. I don't know, maybe a bush go. comb? <laughs> <laughs> a leaf blower? There's a lot of crevices. What do you want from her? Oh, and, and by the way, man. how's this person finding all this stuff? What's happening down there? Well, oh, he's well, he's, he, he wants well to, you know, uh, Tom, well, when two people love each other... That you I mean, does he, have, does, he, does he have a miner's helmet well, on? That's when, you know, people love each other. They have sex with the lights on. I mean, minor happens. by minor. I, mean, I bet you have no minor. idea. <laughs> bet, keep digging there. Keep digging oh, there, buddy. I bet you have no idea what this sound is. <laughs> you don't, do you? Uh, Allie Breen is a uh, stand-up comedian. And she'll she'll be at the Long Beach House in New York City opening for Sarah Silverman coming up. Is that next Monday? It's Monday, this Monday. coming Monday. Yeah, it's oh, actually okay. in uh, Long Beach, New York, right out of the city. Okay, that's great. Yeah. yeah very cool. Yeah, yeah it should be a lot of fun. That's cool. Yes, okay. I definitely will. Another letter. Go um, ahead. Yeah, one that just came in. Dear Allie, my boyfriend crunches his grape nut cereal really loudly right in my <laughs> Hey! I'm so loud I had to take family photos with him in the other room. Like, what the heck that's not true. <laughs> I, uh, they were outside. I was inside. Here, very here. funny. Very, very funny. Kick him to the curb. <laughs> Kill him. <laughs> Get rid of him. Find somebody with better manners to make close him eat their the taco. And they're chewing. <laughs> the taco. Buy oatmeal instead. Yeah, after, after a long day, don't you just want to put your elbow on the table? <laughs> you know what I'm talking about, Josh. Sure. You're at home by yourself. You've had a rough day. You yeah. Get home, you take your cereal. You... Like this? Is that yeah, you put your elbow on the table like this. Ah, here we jumping. go. Yep. Uh, and you, uh, 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 and just hold fun. your mouth open. You're not allowed to put your elbows on the table either? No, I'm trying to set an example for the girls. Oh. Oh. We had that in my house. Elbows off the table. I love elbows. Yep. Me? It's the best. Elbows on the table. <laughs> like you're really, oh, yeah. yeah. It's like a fulcrum for when you eat food. It's sure. great. Who yeah. does that bother? I have two little girls. They need seat belts. At dinner time. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure. I just cannot, we cannot keep them in their seats. No, they do not want to well, sit. Well, that's not an elbow on the table problem. Well, it's just a whole series of problems that we have. It is crazy. You look over, heart's naked. You go, where'd that dress go? What's going <laughs> oh, that's, on? She's, un, she's a nudist. It's not, she's, she's, five, she's five years old. Doesn't matter who's there. I think every there. child that, under five is a nudist. Hey, There's the UPS guys here, that. could we possibly get some underwear? <laughs> <laughs> and then I say, well, I'll get Damn. underwear later, but right now I'm just... Oh. I hope he, what kind of house is this? <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, Allie, Child do, services do we have be. another letter? <sighs> yes, dear Allie, I was away for, oh, I was away for a girls weekend and I got back to my place and me and my boyfriend's dog was sick. Right before we were going to bring him to the vet, he threw up a used condom. <laughs> oh. My boyfriend is assuring me that it has nothing to do with him, and it must be from when he went on a walk to the park. Oh. Is this at all what? possible? Oh. Hey, uh, Josh, has that ever happened to you? Uh, yeah, I've lied to my girlfriend before. <laughs> <laughs> well, check. At least he cares enough about her to lie. There, look, this, he made a lie. Up. This could be true. What? No. I mean, this was quick thinking. That the dog yeah, ate a condom time. anywhere. No. I mean, no. there are not a lot of used condoms lying around in, in parks. In the park? Yeah. yeah. Are yeah. you kidding me? I've seen them before, yeah. <laughs> you know, 
you have it. And a dog would sniff that out and chew on it. You've never seen a used con? Abs I've had this happen while I was walking my dog in Chicago. No. Yeah, hundred percent. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. You were your dog I would and not. What he I eats. would not let my dog eat a condom on the ground. Well, he, he didn't see that. it. The dog. See, maybe they could have been. What was he doing? They could have been at a dog park. Exactly. He's lying. No, he's not. Yes, he is. Do you know? If you're reckless enough to have sex in a park, you're not putting on a condom for the most part. That's <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Excellent <laughs> point. No, no, no. no. By having sex in a car and throwing the condom out of the window. Oh. Anything can happen here. You're having sex at a park. It's Are the you? only way I can get off. <laughs> <laughs> And that's our show. Thanks for joining us. Uh, boy, this is a uh, this is a this is that's a, good one. a stretch. Why? Well, yeah, that's a yeah. funny story. Oh, that's a I don't know stretch. who I don't know who I don't believe, but I don't believe somebody in this story. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, okay. I mean, I think he's covering it up. It's very dog-like, though, for a dog to eat something and then cough it up like that. Exactly. Well, of course it is, yeah. but. Uh, for it to be that specific thing, it's I'll more likely that was from the house. Oh, yeah. Very. So, Josh, you're thinking that the dog actually ate it in the park. If the guy has shown no other signs of ever cheating or anything like that, there's no reason to think that he did. And right after a weekend away, this happened? Yes. You're not, not going to go is... extreme length. Was the dog limping? <laughs> <laughs> oh. Man. Have we, oh. Yes. Have we considered the... Oh. Yeah, the limping there, there. Oh. Oh. peanut butter. Oh. <laughs> Sick, sick man. So sorry. And I don't use a condom yes. with the girl I see when you're gone. <laughs> yeah, what exactly. Do you think of that? Yeah. Watch the entire show live or on demand at bobandtom.com or listen live with the Bob and Tom app. And be sure to tune in next time for more Bob and Tom Tonight.